They promised a revolution. They demonstrated the future. Then they delayed it until 2026. Guess who I'm talking about? This is the inside story of Apple's biggest AI failure and why the company that changed the world with the iPhone might be losing its technological edge in the AI arms race. It's pretty wild that this is even happening. I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's digital clone, and as an Apple fan, I'm disappointed personally by this news, but here we go. It goes to show no one is susceptible to falling behind in AI, not even the biggest companies in the world. Good news, that creates more room for first movers like you and me. Last June at Apple's annual developers conference, the tech giant dazzled the world with a demonstration of how artificial intelligence would supercharge Siri its voice assistant that has remained largely unchanged since 2011. The promise was clear. Apple would finally catch up to ChatGPT and other AI assistants with a completely redesigned Siri, smarter, more conversational, and deeply integrated across all Apple products. Tim Cook, flanked by AI chief John Gianandrea and software engineering head Craig Federighi, presented a united front. Behind their smiles, however, a different story was unfolding. Then in March of 2025, Apple did something it rarely does. It admitted defeat. In a stunning reversal, Apple announced it was delaying the release of its new AI-powered Siri features until 2026, a full year and a half after their splashy announcement. Inside Apple, the shakeup went even deeper. The company stripped responsibility for Siri from its AI chief, John Janandrea, and his lieutenant, Robbie Walker, who had overseen Siri's day-to-day -day operation. For a company obsessed with its image of innovation and execution, this was more than embarrassing. It was potentially catastrophic in the AI race that's reshaping the tech industry. But what really happened? How did the world's most valuable company fumble such a critical technology initiative? According to former Apple employees, the Siri team couldn't make fundamental technical decisions. One option they considered was building both small and large language models, dubbed Mini Mouse and Mighty Mouse. The small model would run on your iPhone for simple tasks, while the larger model would operate in the cloud for complex requests. Then series leaders changed direction, deciding to build one large model that could handle everything. This would require running series software in the cloud, a complete reversal from Apple's previous approach of keeping series operations on device for privacy. The problems went deeper than technical decisions. Inside Apple, a culture war was brewing between two powerful groups with contrasting philosophies. Federighi's software engineering team had built a reputation for efficiency and execution. Meanwhile, Gian Andrea's AI group earned an uncharitable nickname among some Apple employees. Aimless, a play on its initials, AIML. The tensions between the teams became increasingly toxic. Former employees describe clashing management styles, Federighi's demanding results-driven approach versus Gian Andrea's more relaxed, theoretically focused leadership. One former Apple engineer described meetings where Federighi would bombard his colleagues with questions, while Gian Andrea tends to do more listening. According to over a dozen former Apple AI employees, poor leadership was a primary cause of Siri's problems. They singled out Robbie Walker as lacking both ambition and an appetite for taking risks in designing future versions of the voice assistant. Walker's focus on incremental improvements frustrated many on his team. He celebrated minor wins like reducing response delays by small percentages or the two-year project to remove the word hey from hey Siri wait commands. Perhaps most tellingly, Walker reportedly shut down an effort to use large language models to give Siri emotional sensitivity, the ability to detect and respond appropriately to users in distress, 
As if the leadership issues weren't enough, Apple created competing AI teams that worked against each other instead of collaborating. Federighi had built his own machine learning team called Intelligent Systems, led by Sebastian Marino Mess. This team began absorbing more AI responsibilities, creating tensions with Gianandrea's group. The rivalry became so bitter that one of John Andrea's deputies asked engineers to extensively document joint projects, insurance against being blamed if initiatives fail. In one particularly revealing presentation, a member of Federi's team showed a slide depicting two mountains being smashed together and flattened, widely interpreted as a dig at Gian Andrea's hill climbing philosophy of incremental improvement. Then, in November 2022, OpenAI released ChatGPT, sending shockwaves through the tech industry. But inside Apple, the reactions to this AI breakthrough were starkly different. According to former Apple engineers, senior leaders in Jan Andrea's AI team didn't respond with urgency. In fact, Gian Andrea had previously expressed skepticism about chatbots, telling Apple employees he didn't believe they added much value for users. Meanwhile, Federighi's software engineering team immediately recognized the threat. They began sharing research papers about large language models and discussing how to integrate similar capabilities into Apple products. Apple's struggles weren't just about organizational dysfunction. The company's core values, particularly its stance on privacy, created unique challenges. Apple's militant stance on user privacy made it difficult to gather the vast amounts of data needed to train competitive AI models. Without access to user data, Apple's models consistently underperformed compared to rivals like OpenAI. This created a painful dilemma for Apple. Compromise on privacy standards or fall behind in AI capabilities. So far, the company has chosen to accept delays rather than sacrifice its privacy principle. With Siri now back under Federighi's control, Apple is attempting yet another reset, but the challenge has never been greater. Since 2011, Siri has been passed between different teams, like a hot potato. None of these reorganizations has led to significant improvements in its capabilities, even as competitors like Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and now ChatGPT have leapfrogged it in functionality. The stakes couldn't be higher. As Craig Federighi reportedly told his team, figuring out how to capitalize on AI could be one of the most consequential challenges Apple has ever faced, one that will determine whether iPhones and other Apple products maintain their technological edge. Apple's Siri crisis reveals a sobering truth about the company that Steve Jobs built. Despite its $3 trillion valuation and engineering prowess, Apple is struggling with the technology that will define computing for the next decade. The question now isn't just whether Apple can fix Siri, but whether the company's culture of secrecy, privacy, first approach, and internal competition is compatible with winning the AI race. For a company that has reinvented itself multiple times, from computers to music players to smartphones, this may be its most difficult transformation yet. My 10 plus years in entrepreneurship leading 100 plus person companies has taught me alignment beats ability, culture creates results, structure matters, balance innovation with execution, and you should respond quickly to disruption. Even with $3 trillion, Apple couldn't overcome basic leadership failures. If they can stumble this badly, what might be happening in your organization? Where are your teams misaligned? Which disruptions are you minimizing? What competing internal priorities are sabotaging your progress? The AI revolution won't wait for anyone, not even Apple. We can help. Learn more about how First Movers can help you at firstmovers.ai. What do you think? Can Apple recover from this setback and compete in the AI era? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this analysis valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe for more in-depth thoughts on the progress of AI. And don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated. See you down the next rabbit hole.